I think I'm, right now I'm right in the Sheraton Hotel in Pretoria. So I I'm gonna I'm gonna be worshiping God from here. And everybody who wants to join me, please be free to join me because God is gonna be doing something great. Yes, and. Tonight's worship is going to be wonderful, so please join, please join. It's going to be great. I uh, will be leaving soon, so join us for the worship. Facebook, WhatsApp, and everywhere. God bless you. that I should boast, save in the death of Christ my King. All the great things that charm me most, I sacrifice them to His blood. Welcome people, this is day 44 of the 100 Nights of Worship and today we are talking on the topic, Boasting in God as an Act of Worship. So, um, and the scriptures we're looking at are... Psalms chapter 34 verse 2 and Psalms chapter 44 verse 8 talking about um, you can read it by yourself you can read it yeah and I'm talking about boasting in God as an act of worship and the psalmist say in your name will I boast all the day long you know they said um, in God will I boast the humble shall hear their often be glad why would the humble be glad in boasting because you're boasting in God? You, you should not, swearing, you don't, like, you don't boast in any other because every other can fail apart from God. So you don't boast in any other than God. Because the only hundred, we are not hundred percent sure of even ourselves. And we are not hundred percent sure of any other thing. So we don't boast in those things because they, they can fail. But in God, you know, he is who he said he is. He's hundred percent who he is. He's hundred percent what he says about himself. Everything is hundred percent sure. So you can boast in God knowing that God is faithful. He's faithful. He says good is good. <laughs> Doesn't change. So, but, and so that's why it is okay for you to boast in God you can and you know Paul I guess he said um forbid I think that's where that song was taken from <laughs> forbid it Lord that I should boast save in the death of Christ you should only boast in the cross of Christ if the death of Christ because this these are things that we are sure of so your boasts should not be in any other than in God and because God is 100% sure we can boast in him and what does boasting in God do it make it makes others know like it helps others understand God better it helps them see the acts of God it helps them you know get a better knowledge of God and it exalts God's name before other people so anything as we have been running through this hundred nights of worship anything that glorifies God is an act of worship and you should be doing that so please um i would want you you know these days um we find it so easy to boast in things and our achievements i am this do you know the school i attended do you know the business i have do you know who i am we like to make such statements like that and you know motivational speakers have made it so like that that we all always want to you know when they speak all those things you always want to me, 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 you know. There's a difference between believing in yourself and boasting. Pride is something that God opposes. But boasting is talking. What does it mean to boast? I'm trying to put a word. Okay. What does it mean to boast? You know, take, take pride in something. I think that's, yeah. You talk with pride about something. I think that's where you, that's what boasting is. And when you're proud of something, you know, your heart, you know, your heart believes in that thing. You're sure of that thing. So now, when you start being proud, like you take pride in yourself, in your achievements, like you are the one who achieved it. You know, whatever we get is what God gives to us. So when you start taking that pride in yourself, you are now seeing yourself as a source of what you have. 
And you remember that man in, I think, Matthew, that Jesus referred to, the man, he was rich, he had got all this thing, and he was like, now I've got a lot of money. I have, you know, it was this personal me, me thing. I have amassed this wealth. I have, I have, I have. And then, <laughs> when it was like, I, 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 God was like, you're a fool. That you're placing your boasting in the wrong place. You're putting it in the wrong place. So you're a fool. This night you will see that you are not the source of these things that you have. And modern days, we made to believe that, yes, we put in our effort. So we are, we made ourselves wherever we are. But no, I am what I am by the grace of God. You know, God made me who I am. I am nothing out of God. When we understand that, we know that whatever we have, we appreciate it of it. We we don't despise others who don't have it. And then we just see how to be of assistance to them. And then we only boast in Christ because yes, this is the source of all things. We talk about him with pride, you know, with joy, with confidence. That is what boasting is. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. So please, let's do that. Join us um, tomorrow, the 45, and we'll exalt his name together. We'll praise God together. And God be praised. God be praised. Let the name of the Lord be praised. So, on YouTube, on WhatsApp, on Telegram, on Facebook, join us. And um, <laughs> WhatsApp is the main session, so please, I like you to be part of it. <laughs> so, the song again, or beat it, Lord. You should always have that at the back of your mind, you know. Be conscious about that. For beat it, Lord, that I should boast. Saving the death of Christ, my King. All the vain things that torn me most, I sacrifice them to His blood. When I survey the wondrous cross, on which the Prince of Glory died. My richest gain I count but loss and poor contempt on all my pride. God bless you. Expecting you. Why I know go make nyanga? Hey, why I know go do shakara? Jesus, na my papa, I am not go make nyanga. Holy Ghost, na my brother. Mm, 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 mm. Why I not go make nyanga? Mm, 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 mm. Why I not go make nyanga? Make nyanga. Jesus, na my papa, I am not go make nyanga. Holy Ghost, na my brother. Why I not go make nyanga? God is my father. And Jesus is my brother, and the blessed Holy Spirit is my guide. The devil has no relation, for I am a new creation and a member of the family of Christ. Because God is my father, Jesus is my brother, and the 